Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are welcome to our channel, Masculine Learning Network. Thank you for using your time to watch this video, to this lesson of this channel. So, you are welcome for the lesson of biology practicals. Today, we are going to we are going to answer the following questions. We have two questions which make the challenge to the student on answering the way of answering. So in biology practical, our topic we are going to deal with food testing and the nutrition. Food testing and the nutrition, we have after testing within the experiment, we have a report or biology, biology practical report. And then we have questions asked be apart from practical report. So you have to, you have to answer in a good way and you have to answer in according to the question asked me. So sometimes the student fail to, to answer the questions according to the form of questions, how is asked me or how are asked me or asking the question. So the way you are going to score better is the way how you answer the question. So other students have to, to, to be in a good answering way, in a answering way of questions. If you, you answer in a good way, you score better like If you be wrong in answering, it means at the end you can have a marks which are not satisfied. So, but your goals or your goals is to, to make well or to make better within your your biology, your biology lesson. You have theory, you have practicals. So, apart from that knowledge, we have to answer this question. Today, I'm going to, to move the challenge how to answer these questions. What are the questions? Be together with me. My name is Mr. Abul, expert in physics, chemistry, and biology. Through our lesson for today, we learn about the, how to answer these questions. I said we have two questions. So be together with me, you will understand. Okay, if you have the best time to watch this channel, subscribe our channel, like it, share, comment, give us a comment. If you like our videos, just give it as a comment, which is very nice. I think you have an answer. So, today our questions, we are going to deal with the, the nutrition questions, deal with the digestion. Because nutrition is not standard the nutrition. It means after getting the, the, the food within the body, there is digestive, the digestion process. At the end, you are going to be to make absorption within the bloodstream. So, that is nutrition and that is food test. After identification of food, we have, or after getting the food within the body, we have digestion. The digestion makes us to get the energy or after absorption of the food, nutrients within our body. So, the first question we are going to deal with is our about the the grass, about the enzymes, about the digestive juice, and the end product. We are going to deal with the, the questions which are dealing with that concept. We have grass, we have enzymes, we have digestive juice, we have end products of the food substances identified within our, our, our sample. So, the first question is, and these questions, it looks like it, the same. The first question is, what are the digestive grains, digestive grains, digestive parts, digestive and juices, digestive enzymes, and the end product of the food substance identified? So, when we be asked these questions, how do you see? What are the digestive parts, digestive grains, digestive enzymes, digestive juices, digestive uh, yes, digestive enzymes, and uh, at the end you have been to name the end product of the food. So it means these questions, the concept of these questions, you cannot know which part I'm going to, to mention the end product, the glands, the enzymes, 
the juice and the end product. So this form of the question, you have to, on the way of answering, you have to answer by considering the end part of the gesture. Let's say what the end. Let's say you have identified the, the protein within your food sample. So if there is a purple color on your observation, there is a protein. Let's say the question you ask me, what is the gland? What is the digestive juice? What is digestive enzymes? What is the digestive enzymes and the end product of that food identified, which is a protein? So the answer of this one, the digestive juice, digestive part at the end of digestion is area. Digestive gland, we consider in the intestinal gland. Digestive juice is intestinal juice, and the digestive enzyme secretion secreted by by juice is, you can say, this is lipase. That's that is ellipsis. In case of protein, the end product is amino acid. So, this question we are, we are looking about is the end part of digestion and uh, their products, enzymes, and uh, their GEC, and uh, their plants. That is the first question to our, to our, our question like that. I repeat, what are the end product, digestive part, digestive enzymes? The form of this question we consider by looking the end part of the digestion or the uh, digestion or alimentary color to mention or to be able to answer these questions. That is the first question. And the second question asked that at each part of elemental car, at each part of elemental car, name the digestive gland, digestive juice, digestive enzymes, and the end product of the food identified. We take the same example, identification of protein, how identified protein within your food sample. The question is said at each part of elemental can. What is elemental can? The elemental can here is the digestive system from the oesophagus up to the anus. So according to the digestion and the absorption of the food, it means starting from the mouth up to the area when the food or the food are absorbed to the bloodstream. So it means, according to this question number two, at each part of elemental color, it means you have to consider where the food will start and where the food is going to be the end of digestion and the absorption. When you look about the protein, it is starts on the stomach, then digested to peptide, Peptide go to the duodenum, and then the peptide also go to the area. So you have to mention from the stomach, the digestive gland is intestinal. Yeah, yes, that is a gastric gland. There is a gastric juice. There is Pepsi as the enzymes, and the end product is peptide. When you come in the duodenum, there is a pancreatic gland, pancreatic juice. There is trypsin as the enzymes and also the end product is peptide and then to the ileum there is intestinal gland intestinal juice there is elepsin as the enzymes and the end product is amino acid that is the end of product of that protein so the question number two we have to consider each part of the food how where is digested from starting up to the end of that digestion so those forms, two forms of the question, it looks like the same, but for the first we consider only the end part of the digestion, and the second question we consider only part or all part of the digest where the food are digested. Let's say such if you have observed the blue black color on your sample solution during testing, it means the really such. So the answer in this the first question means we consider the the area at the end of digestion. But the number two question, we consider from mouth to duodenum to ilia. The mouth, there is a liver gland. 
there is saliva, other juice, there is saliva laminates, other enzymes, and the, the end product is maltose. Then maltose is going to be in duodenum. There is gastric juice, gastric gland, gastric juice, there is pancreatic pancreatic aminas and uh, there is maltose as the end product then we are going to the ilia in case of starch there is the sino gland the sino juice there is maltase also we are going to get the glucose as end product so in that forms of two questions one guided you to mention what are the end product you have to mention the ending part consider the ending part of the digestive system or the ending process of digestion and then the second question you have to consider both parts all parts where the food are digested up to from the starting up to the end that is how you have to answer these questions are the student so if you have understand this one just i thank you for using your time to watch this channel or to look this video just comment, give us a comment if you have understand. If you have another question, you may ask it through comment. But I thank you for listening, for learning through with me. I thank you. Just see, you are have to subscribe. I beg you to subscribe to like this video or this lesson, and just see, share with your fellow. And don't forget to comment. I thank you for listening. I thank you for learning with me. If you have another idea, just through comment, we will understand you and we will answer you through another video or through that comment. Thank you for learning. Thank you for watching this video through our channel.